Thank you for taking the time today to hear my legislative update. It's day 44 of the legislative session and day 724 of the COVID state of emergency. It's a very busy time down here in Olympia. Committees are winding down. We've heard lots of Senate bills this last week. And this last Monday, the budgets were introduced in the House. So we are preparing for floor action to hear all of those Senate bills and to take up and debate different budgets. As you know, I serve on the Transportation Committee, and I have to admit, I was disappointed with the Democratic majority's $16 billion, I said billion, transportation proposal that just came out on Monday. Their proposal really focuses on the Metropolitan Core with heavy emphasis on expanding transit and rail capacity, but unfortunately does very little to address the safety and congestion issues that we're experiencing out in the suburbs on our highways and streets. The proposal is funded through a myriad of new and increased taxes and fees. Some of them are likely face legal challenges. Even the Seattle Times called the proposal partisan, costly, and flawed. So in its current form, I do not support this budget and hope that some of our amendments can improve it. One of the other budgets that was introduced on Monday is the capital budget. And it is produced in a bipartisan manner. This year, it spends a record amount. But it's important to note that it funds important projects that create jobs all over Washington. But then there's the mother of all budgets, the operating budget. The Democratic majority has proposed a budget that spends an additional $6.2 billion on top of what they passed just last year. That's a 10.5% increase in less than one year. And it provides no measurable tax relief at a time when we have nearly $15 billion in revenue surplus. This is something I just simply can't support. So as I've said in the past, just saying no is not an option either. So House Republicans have offered a budget that doesn't raise taxes, led by our very own Representative Drew Stokesbury, my seatmate. It provides a framework which would allow for real tax relief. Actually, one of the key components of that is a full 1% reduction in the state portion of the sales tax. It delivers billions for important investments for ongoing transportation initiatives. It's true to fact that the transportation revenue is down, but the operating budget revenue is up. And things like the sales tax revenue off of automobile sales should be moved over to the transportation budget and fund those important projects on an ongoing basis, not just one time, but ongoing, so you can plan out for years and years. And guess what? That plan also fully funds all of the state government services. So there's no cuts. So in light of this huge surplus of revenue, I am hopeful the legislature will take the opportunity to provide some real tax relief to taxpayers. And we'll keep you posted on that as we go through the process of debating, amending, and passing the budget over to the other body. As I mentioned earlier, it's day 724, the state of emergency imposed by Governor Inslee. Appropriate at first, I will give you that. But unfortunately, over time, majority has really abdicated their responsibility as an equal and independent branch of government, really giving the governor unfettered rule. So my colleagues and I continue to fight for reforms to the governor's emergency powers to make sure that you as citizens have a voice from the people's house. I thank you for taking the time today to uh, listen to my legislative update. I encourage you to visit my website. If you'd like to keep abreast of what's going on down here, sign up for the newsletter to keep yourself informed. And please do drop me an uh, email or give me a call. 360-786-7866 is the phone number. Or again, email is a good way to reach me. And let me know what those issues are that are of concern to you and how we can help navigate your state government. I'm Representative Eric Robertson from the 31st District. I thank you for listening again today. It's a privilege to serve you from Olympia. Thank you for watching.